Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we are going to be taking a look at a KVM software solution made by Synergy. So let's get started. So for those of you who don't know what KVM is, it basically abbreviates down to keyboard, video, and mouse. And it allows you to share all of them between multiple consoles or multiple desktops. Now this is a software solution, not, not a switch. What that means is you could share your keyboard and mouse through your network. So if you got multiple desktops, a PC, then a Mac, or an Android, yes an Android, you can share your mouse wherever the server is between all those devices. So multiple devices work. The only gimmick is that you don't share your screen. So basically you need a monitor for each one. But ultimately, if you have three monitors set up like I do right here, and then an Android or something like that, you could have one keyboard and mouse set up between all of them. Now story time. Nick Bolton, the CEO of the company Synergy, actually reached out to me from a previous video that I had. I'm gonna place a link right here on complimenting me that I mentioned them on that video for their product. I, I'm, I'm ecstatic, my mind was blown because a huge CEO and a product that I've been using for many, many years, he reached out to me because of you guys and basically complimented. So we started a dialogue between each other and at the end of that dialogue, basically it comes down to, we have a gift for you guys. So I'm gonna be announcing what that is at the end of this video. And so instead of doing a mention like I did last time, I'm gonna be doing a full video on how to get this set up and how it works and how everything integrates together. So let's get started on that. All right guys, so here we have our screens. So on the left we have our Windows 10, my Mac, a Raspberry Pi, and then my Android tablet. So now they're all on the uh, setup screens. So the first thing I'm gonna do is set up my server, which is gonna be my Mac. That's where my keyboard and mouse is hooked up to. So I'm gonna hit continue, server, and done. I could leave this as is for now because I have nothing connected to it, so I'll configure it a little bit later once I get the devices on. So the next step is to configure my Windows 10. To configure my Windows 10, I actually have it remotely in, so you can see what's going on. Same thing, I would hit next, but this time I would choose client and finish. Once you're set up with this, you're gonna have a screen name. So you could choose your own screen name or you could change it if you want. But if you remember this one, it's fine because only for the first setup, you'll be really using it. So here, I'm gonna hit the server IP address of 192.168, which is my computer IP address, you know, 5148, I believe. Now it's connected to my main desktop, but I haven't allowed on how it's configured yet, so it doesn't work as of yet. So the next thing I'm gonna set up is my Raspberry Pi. So again, I have it remotely connected right now, just to set up for the initial setup. Now, again, since it's a client, I just hit the same thing, 192, 168, 105, 148. Now as for my Android, same thing. I just have to get to a point where the server IP matches my server. And just remember the client's name because you're gonna be, you're gonna need it. So here, I'm gonna configure my server. Since I start, I have stuff going to it. On the left side, I dropped it down and now I am gonna edit this and this will be my desktop BA, BA, F8, J, Six, eight. Okay, dropped in another one and I'm gonna name this RPI. That's what the host name is for that one. Then I'm gonna drop another one above and I'm gonna call this one Android because that's the name of it. And hit okay and start the service. All right, so now we have everything connected and you can actually check from all these info screens to see what's going on. So now I have my mouse in my main screen. I don't know if you could see it, but I could drag my window around and you can see that I'm, I'm on here. Now I could just move my mouse to the left screen and automatically now I could control this using the same keyboard and mouse connected through the network. So now I can control everything on here. Now if I move it back to the right and all the way to, you see now I'm back on the main screen and to the right to where my Raspberry Pi is, now I could control my stuff on my Raspberry Pi. Now this is all seamless three different devices, four different devices. Now if I move my mouse to the top, check this out. 
I could control my Android just right up from here. So if you have like Netflix installed or something on your Android tablet and you have it hooked up like I do, you could just connect it like that and control it without having to reach over. Even though it's a touch screen and everything, but you know, you get the idea. So basically that's how it works. It's seamless between all the computers. So I have my Windows 10, Raspberry Pi, Mac, Android, and it's all shared between one keyboard and mouse, all done because Synergy allows it to. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I actually use this solution all the time because I hook this up to a Raspberry Pi and then I have a secondary monitor instead of hooking a keyboard and using it day in, day out. I use this Synergy all the time. Now, if you guys have any questions, hit it in the comments below. Now, as we were talking about the mini gift, it's basically a giveaway. So how to enter to this little mini giveaway, it's easy. Go to Twitter. And all you have to do is take a picture of your setup. So if you have one laptop or two desktops or basically a picture of why you need this, upload it to Twitter and add Nova Spirit Tech, which is my Twitter handle, and then hashtag Synergy Project, then hashtag Nova Giveaway. So those three things are needed. And then I will judge between all the pictures that I see and determine who to give this away to. So I have uh, about 10 accounts. So between now and two weeks later, I probably should have been giving away all the accounts. Now for the shout out of the week, I must give a shout out to Node. Now we did a similar project last week, which is that USB Raspberry Pi Zero dongle. I made one, he's also made one. He done a great job. I actually really like his videos. And I also love all his thumbnails. His thumbnails are amazing. I wish he turned them into t-shirts so I could buy them. So go check out his channel. I'm going to leave it over here. And I actually watch his channel a lot now because he does these drop, uh, dead drop videos, which I find very entertaining. Anyway, check him out. Subscribe to his channel. Show him my support. Now, if you haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe on this channel. And as I say in my nerd cave, heck till it hurts.